Hi everyone, this is Kylo and Mia. Welcome to this video. I'm here with Rogue and Rogue is a little wolf plush that I got in Barcelona in the zoo. When we were passing by, um, I had a stag made for him. Sorry, it's this side. And, um, well, he has, he has quite pretty markings. I really liked him. I don't really know what brand he is, but I never removed his tag. So, I guess it's still pretty clear. We want to know. And I noticed these kind of plush earlier. Um, they're quite realistic and they don't cost too much. So, that's really nice. I found a wolf of this brand. So, this is Rogue. He has quite nice markings on his uh, ears and his paws so he looks really sweet now in this video actually I don't have that much to show you I have been collecting a few things during the past few months because for now we don't actually have the possibility to uh, to collect too much um, because we are paying off our apartments and soon they will be delivered and of course now we have to pay the whole amount so uh, we don't have much money these days we are all actually saving a lot and uh, yeah, well, also for me, it has its influence, of course, but I actually don't really mind as I have all my plush here to be so happy. Look at these guys up here. And also my bed is pretty crowdy because I have a few things to show you. So yeah, in fact, nothing, uh, nothing matters. Um, now, the very first things that I'm going to show you are a few Star Wars things that I could find. Now, I told you about the adorable backpack that I wanted so badly. And actually, I had an occasion on which I could get it. And after all, I thought I would left, leave it, but I just love it so much. And here it is, because he had Kylo on it. And I just, I put this little BB-8 on it as well. And uh, yeah, it's just such a pretty backpack. I have a pencil case like this, and it's pretty strong and good quality. And I've been using it uh, ever since, so I just love it. I use it also when I take Kylie for a walk, so just so happy I have this so, such a pretty picture of Kylo it says the Force Awakens and of course with a pretty BB-8 on it which is pretty sweet so yeah that's the very first thing um, I put on my donuts on my bed and my garlic just fell down this is Grace Garlic yeah actually I, I didn't really change her name look at the sweet face yeah my zoom is broken again so yeah also, I could find those adorable... Where are they? I'm looking for them. Oh, there it is. These adorable pencils uh, for drawing because, well, they are Star Wars themed. They have a little logo. Um, because, if, because actually, I... Um, my pencils are getting really small. And that's because I actually found these ones. I know the focus doesn't work, so yeah, hold on a second. So yeah, for once I have themed pencils that actually were just 50 cents. So that was really a good deal. And I'm pretty sure the quality will be enough for drawing. Um, so yeah, I was pretty happy to find those. Um, and then I had a look in the thrift shop to see what nice plush I could find there. And in fact, they didn't have that much. So I found some plush for Katie, which I'm going to show you right now. And I just found one for me. Um, also because I collected some and after all I decided not to keep them. So uh, first of all, I'm going to sh uh, show Katie her little plush. Now the very first thing that I, um, that I brought back for, for Katie was this um, grey diddle because Katie told me that she had one like this a while ago I didn't really know what size it was and I believe it must have been dressed this guy's naked and actually I think I found a smaller one like this in the, and I sent it in a previous package but this guy's the middle size one he's actually comparable with a 12 inch plush and he is in quite good condition except from the fact that he's not dressed so he must have been dressed one day, but for some reason, um, yeah. So he's in pretty good condition. I don't really know if um, if she had a smaller one or a larger one, but like this, well, this was really that guy that resembles the one she had. So like this, you will have the mom and the baby. 
Here's a, the large tail. And in fact, yeah, I only get you the real littles because there are a lot of fake ones, but the real ones have this tag, of course. And this is one of the older models, which were grey. And they had plastic eyes, small nose, and small hairs. Small little hair on their heads. So yeah, that's the very first one. He's actually really cute. Yeah, I really thought of you when I saw him. That was the only nice little that I found. Just one. Oh, uh, I'm gonna show you. Also, I promised to send you this adorable golden retriever. I actually got him and then after all I decided not to keep him. So, and this is the black collar that I put on her. It fits really well. And actually I put it on her to make sure it doesn't squeeze her neck too much. So yeah, it's a brand new fake leather color. It's really pretty. And the color retriever is in very good condition. He has like a light brown color and he has like a fluffy tail. See? And he's about, yeah, I would say about 10, between 10 and 12 inch. And he has a nice color retriever look in, into his eyes. So this will be the second one to go with the very first one you have. Oh. Okay, Rogue, you'll have to move. There he is. Oh, look how sweet. And I think that is about it. Yeah, it should be. Well, maybe I can show you the huskies that I would like to get rid of. Maybe you can make a choice like this. Uh, let me know which one you like. So, first of all, we have Kianza that you know. And she's actually, she, they all look like Rockfi, in fact. They have the same marking up their head. Um, and the, the eyes actually fit the blush really well, even though the size the, the size looks a bit the eyes look a bit oversized. But in fact, they go really well in the face of the blush, as you can see. The ears are comparable with cat ears. Uh, they are a bit small, in fact. She still wears her harness. Yeah, I know. So this is Kienza, and she's about ten inches tall. And then we have uh, Rockfi. And Rockfi has a really adorable look into her eyes. Um, I couldn't resist that look and she has such pretty eyes. And also this very realistic marking with the same cat ears as you can see. So they look alike even though the eyes are a bit smaller. And her tail is a bit short. It's not really very well finished. She's not from a particular brand so. And then we have Ida. Also Ida looks a bit like Rockfi. Her marking is also a bit different. Her eyes are a bit larger. In fact, you can compare her with... Yeah, the size is comparable with Kienza. But she looks quite like Rockfi and her tail has a wide tip. So yeah. Yeah, removed her harnesses for a picture, so that's why the harnesses are messed up. And they all have those same cat ears, as you can see. <laughs> Really funny, so you can make your choice out of these. And now I'm going to show you, um, to give you a quick look on the plush that I'm going to keep for now. So, actually, my very first find was this adorable White Republic Sabertooth Tiger, which I actually was just going to call Saber, as I think it's a pretty name for a tiger. In fact, I have a small German Shepherd that also needs Saber, but with those teeth, seriously. I also like Diego, but it's a really pretty name. It's my kind of style. It's it's uh, it's my style in names. Oh, now I see he gets damaged here. He just uh, has a little haul. So yeah, didn't see that in the first place. He's obviously a Wild Republic design. Uh, one of the retired ones, I believe. Um, in fact, I'm not really happy with the design of the back legs. They could have done a better job on it. He has the Wild Republic tag, but there's no brand name on him. I washed this guy because he was kind of gross when I got him. He has a pretty fluffy tail and he's like a golden brown color. And this is his little collar, little black collar. And the very first, the very funny story is that I thought of this plush 
the night before actually getting him, I thought of this super saber tooth tiger that I, that I found so long ago. And then uh, and I hoped I might see him again one day because I was kind of regretting leaving him. And then the next day I just found him. So, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure God must have heard me or something. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I have no idea. So it was a real coincidence, actually, that I came, that I just run into him in the thrift shop. Um, and of course, after feeling these regrets in the very first place, I got him to make sure uh, to make the, the right decision. If actually, after all, it was just 50 cents. So, yeah, that's him. And the very first thing I found in another thrift shop was this adorable snowman. Now his name is Snowflake and he's a rust plush. And he's really good quality, he's really soft, but I had these, these two washed actually. So Snowflake is still a bit rough, but he's really good quality. And he's just so cute. I just fell for him. It's not the kind of plush that I would actually collect, but he's just so damn cute. Look at his mouth here. So, Katie, I know you like him as well. If I ever get rid of him, I might let you know. Because I'm not so sure I'm going to keep him, how long I'm going to keep him. I just think he's so cute and I was really sure I would actually leave him. But after all, I couldn't. So, yeah, he's just so, so sweet and he has lots of beans in him. He's really good quality too. And he's dressed with a little uh, hat and a scarf. So, and he has little buttons. He looks like a little snowman. So yeah, he's just so adorable. For some reason, I just fell in love with him, just like for my Meowth blush. Um, he with his little carrot did his nose. <laughs> so yeah, um, so that's what I'm going to keep from the thrift shop for now. Now there's one last item that I would like to show you guys. It's um, It actually goes with this little wolf blush that Katie got me in a zoo in Switzerland, I think. And uh, well, it's it just such a pretty plush, really. And on my way, in the train station, in the real in a relay shop, I found this little fox that actually is like the same size. And uh, in fact, I I shouldn't have gotten him. Um, it wasn't a very clever decision. But after all, I'm so happy he is here. Look, he's actually brand new. Also, it was actually pretty expensive for his size. And uh, yeah, don't mind my brother, he's uh, getting mad on his computer. And he's a little red fox. And I thought his face was just so sweet. I put this little blue collar on him. And uh, his, his paws are just perfect. I mean, and he goes actually really well with smile. So it is a smile. The wolf. And actually I forgot what I... Oh, I named him Sinji. So it is a smile and Sinji. And this is Smile and Sinji. The uh, holder looks like they don't really want to pose together for the video. But in fact, they go really well together. They're like the same size and the same type of plush. So, so yeah, that's going to be it, I guess. So, I really hope you enjoyed this video, guys. And I'll see you later. Thanks for watching. Bye.